This video is going to be about the laws of probability. So there's two big uh, laws of probability that we need to think about when we're trying to solve genetic problems. And that's going to be the multiplication rule and the addition rule. And so we use those two rules in different uh, situations. So let's look at an example. So let's say we have one Punnett square for um, a set of alleles. And then let's say we have a second Punnett square for a different set of alleles. And so we'll look at the multiplication rule first. So the key word that you need to look for when you're thinking about using the multiplication rule is and. And so anything that's going to require the multiplication rule is going to have the word and in it. So for example, um, since these are two separate genes, we can look at the probability that um, an individual is going to have um, the genotype big A, big A, and the genotype big D, big D. And so to do that, we're going to multiply the probabilities of getting this genotype um, together. So for example, the probability of having um, a big A, big A genotype is 1 fourth, and the probability of having a big D, big D genotype is 1 fourth. And so when we multiply that together, we get 1 16th. So that's the probability that this individual is going to have a big A, big A, and a big D, big D. And we know because it has the word and, so we need to use the multiplication rule. So moving on to the addition rule. So the key word that you want to look for with uh, the addition rule is or. So if we want to know what the probability that it uh, is that an individual will have the genotype big A, little a, or the genotype little d, little d, for example, then we add the probabilities of those two events um, together. So for example, the probability of having a big A and a little a is 1 half, and we would add that to 1 fourth, which is the probability of having just the little d. And so that is going to give us 3 fourths. And so that um, is how you would use the addition rule when you have or. So we want to know if they're going to have this genotype or this genotype. And then we use multiplication when we want to know if they're going to have this genotype and another genotype. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. Thank you.